sail to New Zealand. Yes. So exciting. You guys are going to love this episode. We're about to set sail. And uh, actually, we're going to motor for about a day and then do a bit of sailing. We've got Minerva Reef, which is just a kick ass spot. And uh, that'll be this episode. And then the following one, we'll be taking you guys to New Zealand. Hope you enjoy the journey with us, guys. This is the end of a three year journey for us. So, uh, you know, it's kind of bittersweet. We're excited to be home, but a little bit sad. How are you feeling, David? Not really sad. Excited to have normal food. Excited about the food in New Zealand? What about you, Bows? Feel good. Yeah? Why? I'm excited. <laughs> about Going somewhere new. It's not really new. <laughs> it's new to me. Big Bay, Ivy. Sure is tempting to follow that Altair out there, isn't it? We're heading with our three friends. We've got Bogue who we've been traveling with for about two and a half years, Elysian and Ibis. There's no wind as you can see, it's motoring along into the sunset. It's pretty civilized when you got no sails up, bananas are sitting in the middle of the table. This is a great meal, Josh is out down himself once again. Got some roast potatoes, some sort of Moroccan chicken with vegetables. Well, we had a great first night of passage. It was pretty much glassy with amazing phosphorus. We just mowed it all night. Then about six o'clock this morning, we felt a breeze, so we put up the sails, and now we've got a beautiful 15 knots sailing it along nicely. Except there is some massive gray clouds on the horizon. We're not sure if that's just rain or if it could be crazy wind as well. So we're keeping an eye on it. Sugar's having some water. Kids are all still asleep. Josh is keeping watch. Looks like he's really watching out. Hey there honey. <laughs> Sunny behind us. And that's the great. Dun, dun, dun. We're just about to go through the passage. There's another boat here, a beautiful 128 foot old fashioned super yacht. We were gonna let them go first, but they've really slowed down. I think they want us to go first, so we'll go and see what happens. Okay, we made it, Minerva Reef. I'll live for the good days. I'll dream of the great nights. I'll live for the ones I've lost. Slide us up, we gonna meet in the afterlife. It's all sacrifice, I got the appetite to be a better man, let's unite. My story like a motion picture. Bittersweet like shots of liquor, let me take the pain. My skin is thicker, we one blood, I'm not pulling triggers. It's all love and your here's to kick it. We working hard, we never go diggers. Anybody with a poster, you wanna protest, please no posers. You better man up, never roll over. You gotta help, we don't do freeloaders. Listen. Everybody is a moment in time where they dig deep and sacrifice. Everybody is a moment in time where they really could use good advice. Everybody is a moment in time where things change in overnight. Let's go. Bit of a deja vu for us. It wasn't that long ago that we were at Beverage Reef and uh, looks kind of the same <laughs> because you can't see anything. It's just blue ocean everywhere with breaking waves. Uh, but man, is it good to just be flat and. We're gonna have a big fry up. Yes. Yeah, some bacon and eggs and tomatoes and whatever else I can. Hash browns would be nice. Mm.
maneuvery, so many fish, so much coral, really beautiful. And um, kids have been having fun getting all the snapper with the spear fishing. We've had to tell them to stop because we actually can't eat this much fish. We're not allowed to take fresh meat back into New Zealand, so we have to eat what we've got already. Our boats are back over there. Just beautiful. <laughs> this is New Zealand Air Force One, Orion, doing some routine manoeuvres over us on Minerva Reef. Just spoken to them on the VHS. Routine manoeuvres. Routine manoeuvres. <laughs> they can definitely see us, eh? What are we doing? We are cracking out all of the legs, getting out all the flesh, because there's like about half the crayfish is in the tail, the other half is in the legs. This is how big the legs are. He was a big granddaddy and we want to make the most of him, so we want to eat everything. I belong. 